Hey everyone, welcome to Medication Monday. This is where we go over a different EMT drug that we administer out in the field. We do it specifically in EMT drug card format. As always, follow your local protocol and scope of practice. Enjoy. Today's medication is called protamine sulfate. It falls under the class of antidotes. Protamine sulfate by itself is a very weak anticoagulant, but when heparin and protamine sulfate are put together, a stable salt is formed and the anticoagulation properties of both of them are neutralized. Your indications are going to be heparin toxicity and the contraindications are going to be protamine sulfate or fish hypersensitivity. Now with this being a medication that is not carried in the 911 EMS setting, follow your local protocol, but call med control. Your dose is going to be one milligram IV or IO for every hundred units of heparin remaining in the body up to 50 milligrams in 10 minutes. So it's really important to call med control and kind of know more or less how much heparin was given or what your infusion was set at. That way you can get guidance from med control. The only time you'll really see it given on the ambulance is during long distance transports where you're giving a heparin infusion to a patient and you're taking protamine sulfate. If the patient were to have a reaction, you have have that medication there and ready. The adverse reactions of protamine sulfate are hypotension, bradycardia, flushing, shortness of breath, and heart failure. The main thing you want to look at adverse reaction wise is anaphylaxis. There are no drug interactions and it is typically supplied in a 10 milligram and one milliliter solution. A few side notes about protamine sulfate. It has a high incidence rate of anaphylaxis. So only administer this when absolutely necessary. Always have your epi in your Benadryl ready just in case of this anaphylactic reaction. Protamine sulfate should be readily available on a long distance transport where heparin is being administered. It really varies from area to area, but if you're taking a patient on a long distance transport where heparin is going to be infusing, I would check your scope and see if it's required to take protamine sulfate in these cases. Onset is rapid and the neutralization of heparin usually occurs within five minutes. As always guys, remember to abide by your local protocol and stay within your scope of practice. This this video is purely informational for those in the EMS field and never meant to be used in the place of medical direction, local protocol, or formal education. Thank you guys so much for watching each and every week, and I will see you next Monday. Bye!